Hey everyone, what's up, Stamper Pro? Alright, today we are going to be going over the enemies uh, tab. So this is pretty much where you can create your own little monsters for random battles. And yeah, they're pretty easy to understand and create. Just like the originals, or just the originals, what am I talking about? Just like the skills, classes, and all that, you also have features over here. Um, just like when you're creating a class or a character, you can give them stronger or weaker <clears throat> against certain types. Like, for a slime, I recommend giving them maybe like half the physical damage, which they didn't do here, but half the physical damage and like double elemental, like uh, certain elements, depending, which I'll be showing you how to do that in a minute. Um, pretty, they're the, the exact same things. It's literally the exact same thing. You can even give them any equip stuff, which you can't really do, but... <laughs> Alright, so let's go. So... Let's go to our new tab. Okay, here's the name. Um, we're gonna name it Red Slime. Let's make it. Let's let's give it a fire. But okay, I, I gotta slow down. I apologize. Down here is the action patterns. This is pretty much where he what he does during um. Okay, this is what like his attacks and stuff like that. His attacks, skills, and uh, magic and stuff like that. This right, this little five right here. The higher that is, the more chance. Um, that he does of using that over something else. Say I have, let's, let's teach him fire. Where's fire? There you go. Let's say he has fire, right? And the rating is three. Well, he was, he's more likely to use attack than fire. So that's what the uh, rating is. Let me go ahead and re-edit this so I can show you all this other stuff. You can have it do always, like he always has a chance of doing it. Uh, on certain amount of turn numbers, so like on say on turn five, for example, you would do five plus zero, and on turn five he would use fire, no matter what. That this is really good for scripted battles. Um, it's an easier way of doing it through events, I think. All depends. Um, you can you can have him do it only when his HP is halfway, meaning like if his HP is twenty five percent, you can give him like a very low percent chance of healing himself. You can do it that way. Um, zero percent. Bet okay, between zero and fifty percent. That's what this is. So you could do between forty and fifty percent. He'll cast fire, but anything below that or above forty and fifty, then he won't um do it. You can do that, you, or you can do when his MP is uh, kind of low. So like, say if you have some kind of monkey boss or something that uses meditate or something like that to regain his MP. You can do that. Um, the state. You you can have it. You can have him only use this if he's got one of these magic states on him. Or you can have you can have him do it when his party level is higher, or when your party level is higher. So like, in other words, if um, okay. If the average level of all the party members is say fifteen, he's gonna he's gonna start using fire, making this same random battle a lot harder. This is good because, like, if you have a tough enemy at the beginning of the game, not the beginning, like somewhere a little bit after the beginning of the game, and the enemy's kind of tough, so you know, and he takes a while to defeat. And he also requires you to drink Mountain Dew. Hang on. Sorry, it's really it's really hot in here, so I had to drink something. Um, I had to have my air conditioner off when recording. Anyway, <laughs> so say, what's the time on? Okay, you have a somewhat tough enemy battle. Well, once you start overpowering him, where he's not that tough, and it still takes a few minutes to defeat him, but if he's not that tough. You can actually make him even tougher, depending on what level you're on, by having him do like more powerful skills. And you're like, what the f? He's never did that before. Or he can use it when a certain switch is on. This is great for bosses. I mean, this is absolutely great for bosses. Say you have phase two or something like that. So you have a switch called phase two, and you have it on, and you can have it like you can have him use certain things after. An event happened, even though it's the same boss. So that's what that's really good about um the skills, the action patterns. And I'm sweating; it was really hot. 
So here's the graphic. You just double click this thing up here, the little checkered box. And I'm gonna give him a slime graphic. As soon as I can find the slime. I'm pressing down, by the way. That's how you kind of shift. There he is. So now I'm going to change the hue. Right about here. Wait, is there another? No. I'm trying to make him as... There we go. That looks red enough. So red slime. Let's have him take 50% physical damage. And water damage does 200%, which doubles the damage. And let's have him do ice does 150%, which is 1.5 times the um, original. Yeah. All right. So we're going to click apply just to make sure it saves all your changes temporarily. The rewards, this is how much experience each slime gives you. So if you have one slime, and just say he gives you like five experience, how much does this one give you? Three. So let's say this one gives you five experience. Um, if there are three on here, it'll be 15 experience. It just multiplies depending on however many there are. Okay, gold. Same thing like if you have different enemies. So it's like you have one of these and one of these, it's going to give you eight experience. Because this one gives you three, and this one gives you five. This is how much gold he drops, and it, go it works the exact same way as the EXP. Um, say it gives you like 15 gold. He gives you 5, he gives you 15. Right. Click apply. And this is his stats. As you can see, the original slime has 100, 0, 12, 4, 8, 8, 10, 10. Okay, 100. Let's have him do 150. Um, since he does have fire, let's have him have 50 MP. Or he doesn't use it all the time, he just uses it a lot. Well, not a lot, but like he can only use it a certain amount of times. Alright, um, attack, his was 12, let's make his 19, his defense was 4, so let's make his 10, it's fine. Magic attack, he's gonna have a lot higher, let's do about 20, magic, wait, what? Okay, magic defense is 20, hmm, this one's agility was 10, luck is 10, let's go ahead and keep that original. Alright, item drops. This is what his chances are of dropping an item, weapon, or an armor. The probability, say 1 out of 1 chance, or you can say 1 out of 4 chances. So he has 1 out of 4 chance of dropping, let's say, bread. <laughs> he has 1 out of 4 chance of dropping bread. He has a 1 out of 1, no, he has a 1 out of 3 chance of dropping a potion. And he has a 1 out of... Of course, that's really unbalanced, but I'm just using the examples. He has a 1 out of 2 chance of dropping Dispeller. Or if you want him to always drop something, you would do 1 out of 1. So, 1 fourth of the time, he's going to drop bread. 1 third of the time, he's going to drop Potion. Uh, 1 half of the time, he's going to drop Dispeller. But he's not just going to drop 1 at a time. He can drop all 3 at a time, if, he, if you're lucky. So now here's the, um, no, we're going to move over to the, this is the notes, by the way. <laughs> we're going to move over to the troops tab. We're going to create a new troop. We're going to give it a slime, and we're going to go down to our new red slime. And see, as you can see, it automatically aligns them. You, you can align them yourself if you want to. Uh, if you don't like what you just did, you can click auto align. Where is it? Oh, arrange. Click arrange. So you can also do auto name, and it'll it'll automatically create um, a name based on what you have on the field. Um, these are battle events. I'm not sure if I should go over these now or later. Actually, I am sure. I'm going to go over this later because it involves eventing, which I will cover eventing later on, and then I will go back to this. All right, so you can do a battle test by clicking here. You can also change the battle background for the test. Bad background is kind of cool because you can change it to all kinds of cool looking stuff. So, let's say you can have none. You can have no background if you want to. Yeah, you can just kind of play around and just have yourself a really cool abstract looking place. The backgrounds kind of fade into each other too, which I really like. That right there reminds me of Metroid Prime. Or not Metroid Prime, um, Metroid Other M for some reason. Yeah, it's got 
battle test. You can do initialize on all your characters. You can select who you want to battle. <laughs> can you have two Eric's? You can have two Eric's. Sweet. Apparently, and you can have two of the same character. Alright, so we're just going to click OK. There you go that's how this that's the enemies and the troops tab covered so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time where we cover the states tab see you then